what's main difference for uh, defensive and offensive top roll. If it's defensive, usually you fight just for position on center here and, and you are very often sacrificing center position just to get your opponent closer or it's low hand or it's uh, top knuckle but, but you are fighting mostly to get your opponent here to separate his hand, his arm away from body and to get his wrist, to get his rotator and you are, you are generally fighting in this position. In offensive top roll you still similar as in any other top roll you want to with back pressure get your opponent closer but you are using much more side pressure you are attacking much more with your hand with your wrist to opponent's rotator so generally you are pulling back but you are trying to attack opponent's rotator you want still want to separate his body away from from arm you want to get on opponent's bicep you want that he is more open okay. of course you, you you are you are focusing to not let him in or or get on his hand and offensive top roll works great against uh, of course sometimes those who are going high hook if you are able to block his position with good pronation and, and back pressure and get on rotator so you are in this uh, dominant position from here you can with back with curl with press finish finish that move i use offensive top roll also against those who are going uh, low hand top roll because okay stronger one and, and you can both uh, try to hold, Pull, pull, and, pull and open each other wrist and hands but if opponent goes low hand top roll then you should be able with and uh, I'm not sure if it's if it's even uh, correct to call uh, offensive top roll or def defensive top roll because for me it's it's uh, such offensive top roll is usually side dominant uh, top roll and it's or it's even like side press with controlling your rotator and and controlling your wrist so it's if it's offensive move you you are you are uh, very often not even doing dynamical uh, pronation of course it's possible but very often you are just holding not letting opponent in or allowing opponent to curl in and and you are doing back pressure and attacking with hand, hand and wrist so it's a uh, side pressure side pressure dominant yeah dominant and, and defensive would be back pressure dominant very very Do much much more focusing just just on uh, get, getting that uh, hand hand control and and then center position uh, differences differences there there are perfect way when when uh, when uh, you are using together dynamic wrist static or a little bit dynamic pronation dynamic or attacking back pressure and also rowing movement together with all those positions you are getting in your position and you are taking side or you are doing it directly and, and going through side there, there are times when you feel that opponent is having good rotator and you can't curl with wrist with hand then you just focus to stay in the static position and you are attacking more with with, with, with rotator back pressure but still going heavy on the side heavy on the side and focusing to get positioned here uh, and in Terzi lately Terzi. using that yeah. but still it's uh, top roll is uh, when, you, when you see especially novices on table they, they usually can, can do just uh, if they are doing, doing uh, top roll they are trying to pull here if they are doing uh, hook or side they are 
working and to here. But you have to separate all those things together. Yeah. Top roll is uh, not a top roll with good hand motion. And in arm wrestling, all starts through hand and wrist movement. And same is top roll. You will you will be successful in to top roll only when you are able to hold your opponent and you are not losing your hand. And if you are able to do this wrist hand movement, and only then you are adding that uh, side press. Side pressure. Yeah. There but there are some examples who who are uh, so strong they don't need. They can lose here. They can lose here <laughs> still. But uh, it's much more effective applying your side pressure. If, if you are winning in in, uh, in uh, hand and rotation against who against who when would when would we need to use this uh, against everyone if you are strong you don't care you just do your move uh, we, we started to talk about uh, Sasha Andreo same uh, Hatching Todd Hatching uh, Daniel Prokopchuk, Daniel Prokopchuk. Yeah. It's 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 almost impossible to to get if if you are stopping them in this defensive position and you are just uh, uh, working with your back pressure and you can add any decent side pressure. Usually, usually even 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 if uh, they they lose their wrist, it's still very hard just to lift them up. And in in those positions, in those in those uh, moments or against those arm wrestlers, it's it's uh, if you have such arsenal in, in your the side pressure, it's uh, usually more effective to focus to get to get them out of the separate shoulder. to add that side to to uh, to get with your hand on, on their biceps and and here you are uh, can can work all directions and and you you can uh, be much more effective with with your with your uh, hand and also with your arm but uh, it's they, 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 it's not like uh, arm wrestling about no one knows it but or no one no one will know what you will do so uh, you have to be able to do this that's that's a question you, of strength as to, well you need to figure out the best strategy for the match it's not that you doing this you will win all the time against those guys you need to be strong and you need to have luck and you need to do the move correctly. And that's, you need that's, to a, that's a question of strength. Like you can say to everyone, what, but, what, what, what I did wrong, you did everything right, but yeah. uh, you have to get stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And same here, to get in this position, you need to have decent side, you need to have a strong hand, you need to have good back pressure to secure that position here. Yeah. It's just figuring out best strategy, even though if you lose, it was still the best strategy to do because there were like, uh, uh, again, Mindaugas and Daniel, when they had the super match, uh, Mindaugas was more back pressure, more defensive, in not Mold attacking. In uh, Moldova? In Moldova. And yeah. now, last, uh, when they met in Turkey, um, it was different because he was using much more side pressure and he went over and he was in better position. It's all about that. Can you get the better That's position? This is a good yeah, example of... Uh, yeah. Uh, defensive, just defensive position. Yeah, when, yeah. When, when that time great at Mindaugas that. was trying to to hold hold him uh, on his uh, angle and back pressure, and then he was two years later. Yeah, two years. Yeah, two years he, later. Yeah, he was he was uh, working much more with uh, with side with uh, with that offensive position, offensive. trying to also press press uh, press through and trying to in some positions get get on triceps. Yeah. So uh, how I like to understand like. Uh, some, sometimes there are like when we're doing defensive you're not fighting for the center at all basically you're just trying to set the trap and get them here so you're waiting for them to open up because they're jumping in and they getting separated in offensive style it's your you're taking them out of position at the start and most of the times like versus press versus me that's one of the best uh, techniques to use you mm -hmm. know when someone presses you get them out and usually they're not that strong there because they're used to being in position. But if you use different strategy, like defensive style versus Sasha really doesn't work. You know, offensive style might work. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same against uh, when we are pulling. Yeah. If, if I'm going just with uh, back pressure, very, very often I'm, uh, I'm here in, uh, in this uh, position. I I'm still can fight, but uh, if you have that wrist, you, yeah. can, you can press through with, 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 with triceps. 
and uh, if I'm attacking, adding, adding side, adding, adding back, and and I yeah. can I, I stop you here or you stop me here now, in this now, position. Now I'm defending. Yeah. That's that's uh, I have much more ways to work from uh, from this position, yeah. and and still you in in both positions you have a straight wrist here or straight straight wrist here. That's a di difference. For for me such a, such style of crop curl is I think most complete most complete and, and best style to pull if you are able to do this yeah. if you are uh, healthy you can add side you can you can keep good working angles you you have good good hand wrist that's I, I believe most effective way to 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 win against someone but it always depends against who you are pulling and uh, there are no generally there are no perfect way of arm wrestling there are like uh, just What's what's working against uh, one arm wrestler probably will not work a, a, against another one. And uh, champion's technique is yeah. best technique. So uh, there there are a lot of top rollers that are good examples, but even they change the style depending on on their opponent. So if you know this guy is side heavy, and but he's very weak outside of their position, there's no chance you're gonna do this when you know you can do this. So it's. Uh, Always think about arm muscle you're facing. Think about the best strategy and figure out if you can do it. You know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Stay strong. Love arm muscle.